Hi everyone, Jameson here. This is a bit of a different video from what we normally do, but every now and then it's important to showcase the, let's say, trials and tribulations that go on behind the scenes with the occasional video. I'll be chiming in every now and then to help explain why exactly this was such a nightmare. Enjoy! If it's not obvious here, we have zero control over the ricochet when it's off of an armor-locked player. And with tanks in particular, the rounds don't bounce off of walls or any other flat surface. So the direction of the ricochet every single time is completely unpredictable. It became clear pretty quickly that the tank ricochet was going to be more or less impossible to pull off. The randomness of the direction of the ricochet was a huge part, but the angles were also always too steep or shallow, I don't remember my trigonometry terms. Basically, we would need an unreasonable number of players to ricochet shots off for it to ever start to come back towards the tank. Another major problem is that every player in the server sees a different ricochet angle, but only the host's perspective is accurate. So we had to screen share our perspectives over Discord and communicate to each player exactly where to stand to even begin intercepting shots. No. You could All right, let me try to your right me. still or your left rather. Oh, to yeah. my right. My right, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah your, oh, your left. Right. Your left. Like that. I think. And it often felt like the ricochets had a mind of their own. It's almost like every time we needed it to bounce left, it went right, and vice versa. Why won't it go the other way? <laughs> Just once. Put a tank in that direction. Why don't they Jameson? <laughs> We'll Photoshop him in, it's right. <laughs> this is so cursed. I don't know. I don't know anymore. So it was decided to abandon the beautiful idea of a tank ricocheting fully back and hitting the tank itself. We spent over two hours testing just the tank stuff and stopped due to far too many variables. We then switched to sniper rifles thinking it would be easier. We were wrong. We need this to go to my left, ideally. Yeah, if you want to be a You need to just keep adjusting your angle a bit, Joe. Where would you see it going? There. <laughs> Not the, not the right way, though. Unfortunately, the sniper suffers many of the same problems as the tank shot. The ricochet angle is only accurately visible to the host, and most of the time the ricochet would go in completely the opposite direction of what we wanted. Go the other way! That's the sky. <laughs> I should just like draw a white line in post and just be like, look, we did it while someone else sniped me from a hidden platform. 
After another near two-hour session with the community, having been unsuccessful in growing enraged with Halo Reach, we decided to give up. Myth. It is. We tried all sorts of objects, but still the bullets would only sometimes ricochet and even when they did, it was never in the right direction. The fact that none of them like ricochet consistently is the worst part. This. Yeah. Like the armor lock was consistent once it was once it, the angle was found. This fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. I don't really want to spend much more time doing this. But then we thought at this point it was worth trying the ricochet in the other Halo games. Oh my god, it's so shit. <laughs> it's impossible. This is the hardest forge ever. Like every block you pick up just like runs so it like jumps towards the camera. Yeah. No matter how far away, it just like jumps towards you. There's no way you can do like micro adjustments. It's to like reprint out each time. Oof. Uh, let's go to Halo 4, dude. For whatever reason, in Halo 4, the ricochets work much more normally. Joe and I were both able to see the same ricochet angle, and they actually reliably go where we want them to. It's happening! It's going it's in happening. a circle! Oh, why won't you do it? Caught our hopes up and everything. Oh! 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 <laughs> How close is it? Oh, oh my god! <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me, let me move. Oh god, I'm touching my controller so carefully. Let me move this guy in. I want to see how close it is. <laughs> It just changed my angle. No! It just, it just hit me. My angle's off. Fuck! <laughs> no! Because it, it, it moved me. And so after countless hours of attempts across most of January and some of February, and across three different Halo games, here, finally, we have confirmation. You can indeed ricochet a shot 360 degrees and have it kill you. Now I'm going to move it, see if you can find the spot again, I'm going to move it even more left, trying to hit the first wall again. Uh, don't think it's going to, infinite is never going to happen, but hey, why not try it? Infinite isn't out yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Actually, <laughs> I'm actually going to go for like a deeper one. We should at least get it hitting the first one again, you know what I mean, the first wall again.
We are confident in saying that no, it cannot be done. The angle of approach for the wraparound ricochet, the one coming in behind me, would have to be exactly perfectly identical to the angle of the bullet leaving the sniper. And then every time a shot ricochets off a wall, it is less likely to ricochet off the next wall. The odds of one single ricochet happening decrease with every successful ricochet. There is simply too much that would have to happen perfectly for it to be reasonably feasible. In short, it is not happening, folks. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that gave you a bit of an idea of how much of a journey some of these myths can end up being. As always, a huge thank you to everyone that supports us on Patreon, with special thanks to our newest supporters, Jonathan, Max, and Sir Red Panda. We have only the one tier at $2 a month, and all the support there really means a lot, so please do check it out at patreon.com slash defendthehouse. And of course, be sure to hit the bell for better notification of when future videos go live. Thanks everyone!